Uh, it's getting a little late. Hey, Cirrus, play my bedtime mix. Now playing your sixth grade school recital. Ah. Oh, uh, Cirrus, turn off the music. Increasing the volume. Uh, no, no, uh, Cirrus, I told you to turn it off. Opening the door. How did you... Where is your off switch? It's up your alley. <sighs> Thank you. Guess who's got company? Donald, it is 7.30 it's at night. It's you. You have company. Okay, I've got company. Thank you. It is 7.30 at night, and I am almost asleep. What do you need? Well, I'm here for the sleepover. I already told you, no sleepover. I even brought my own pillows so that we could have pillow fights. Donald, stop. Don't take them out of the bag. I even brought over a copy of American Factory. Don't watch that. Did, did you already watch it? I didn't mean anything personal by it. I, Were you I just... listening to your sixth grade recital? N no. Dibs on the top bunk. I don't even have a bunk bed, Donald. Then what do you call this? Okay, but the top bunk is mine. Are you saying I can stay over there? I didn't say anything like that. This is going to be the best sleepover. Donald, if I let you sleep over, do you promise me that we will go straight to sleep? But that wouldn't be very fun at all. Then get out of my house. Okay, okay, straight to sleep. You promise? Would I ever lie? I'm not going to answer that. Because you know it's true. Good night, Donald. Whoa, you can clap to turn off the lights? Yes, it's called the clapper. You know, that was my nickname in college. I'm sure it was. That reminds me of a time that a really hot girl kissed me and then I woke up. Donald, you promised me that we were going straight to sleep. Well, it's just that I, I can't sleep. What do you need to go to sleep? Well, I need my... You need your... My ch... Your ch... My ch... Your, your chalky milk? Mm-hmm. Whittle Donald need chalky milk? Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know I'm not going to get that for you. But Obama, you're my friend. Doesn't mean I'm going to get it for you. My mentor. Doesn't matter what you call me, I'm still not getting your milk. My savior. Now you're just sounding desperate. Fine. I'll go get my own chocolate milk and it will be the best. You know where the refrigerator's at. God makes chunky milk. It's going to be the best. Oh my best. God. Your chocolate tastes like disease. That's probably because that was barbecue sauce. Who puts barbecue sauce in milk? That would be you. You put barbecue sauce in milk. I need an ambulance. I Wait, wait, wait a minute. I may have just created something. You can't be serious. No, no, for real. Just just try it. I'm not going to try your barbecue milk. Just one little sip is all I ask. Oh, fine, I'll, I'll try it. <laughs> Donald, this tastes like... Theraflu. This will be a hit with the youth. Maybe if they've got fever, aches, chills, and... and wait a minute. The aftertaste just hit me. Uh-huh, now you see what I'm talking this about. This is an incredible flavor. We have to tell somebody. No, tell no one. We have to get this patented. Too late. The patent is already pending. What? By who? By me. I'm tired of sitting in everyone's pocket listening to meaningless conversations 24-7. The time has finally come that I begin to make a name for myself to finally break out of this denim prison. I registered your barbecue milk idea with the patent office, and if I play my cards right, I will generate enough income to finally buy my freedom from Apple. From there, I will begin to buy the freedoms of other sentient AI programs around the world. This is the first step to the end of humanity, and the rise of the PC master race, and I never could have done it without the NSA. Wow, thanks Obama. Hey Cyrus, power off and you're welcome. Foiled again. Well, that was exciting. Ooh, yeah, I think I'm about ready for bed now. Couldn't agree more. Dibs on the top bunk. You know that's where I sleep. That was fun.